And the former Minister of State for Education, Kenneth Bagi, is calling for a consensus among the elites and critical policies of government in order to bring an end to insecurity and agitations in the country. Mr. Bagi made the call in a paper presented at the third annual national conference of the Faculty of Social Sciences held at the Federal University of Lafia in Nassau State. Godwin Aguam reports. In recent times, the Nigerian nation has been weighed down by an avalanche of security issues. Incis and Boko Haram attacks, adoptions and demand for ransom by bandits, and agitations for secession have kept security agencies occupied across the country. They became more prevalent after the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, which affected the economies of most nations across the globe. This third annual national conference of social sciences held at the Federal University of Lafia in Nassau State seeks to address these issues. The former Minister of State for Education is one of the paper presenters at the conference. He feels injustice and unbalanced constitution, effect of the COVID-19 pandemic and a gap between the government and the governed are factors responsible for the threats in the country. Uh, successive government, be it military or civilian, are the root causes of the leadership problem we have in this country, which has now permeated down to the low and trodden people of the country. For the former minister, lack of elite consensus in adopting critical policies for the nation is a contributory factor. Break the police into a local government police, break the police into a state police and a federal police, and let people take responsibility. The man who is the general police is not better than the Nasrawa man, it's not better than the Kaduna man, it's not better than, it's a human being like us. Give back responsibility to those who are supposed to have it and let us see how we can manage ourselves. Education scholars at the conference agree with the former minister that the adverse effect of COVID-19 gave rise to agitations and security threats in the country. They want the federal government to come up with a citizen-centered constitution that will be accepted by all. It is my hope that the outcomes of this conference will address problems created by COVID-19 in our national economy. That is, identifying strategies that will catalyze post-COVID-19 economic recovery from public and private sector to resilient projects that create sustainable jobs. The impact is multidimensional. The first one, of course, is in the area of health services. Because the pandemic is a health challenge. And we have seen how it has adversely affected our healthcare system, particularly in countries with fragile healthcare services like Nigeria. If our coping with this health emergency has really become a serious challenge. 